In this lesson, we are going to take an image and crop it in simple regular shapes and also irregular custom shapes. We are going to use one of my favorite tools, Graphic Designer. I love it because it's powerful and yet very easy to use. Let's do it. Okay, this is what you'll see when you launch Gravit Designer and you can either enter a custom resolution width and height or you can select from one of these options. I'm going to choose website huge 1920 by 1280 pixels. Okay, so let's bring in an image we can play around with. I have one from unsplash.com. It's just an image of a bunch of pets. I'm going to resize this to the full canvas and pull this over while pressing shift to make it keep its aspect. Okay, I wanna work with this area. Okay, let's start with a very simple crop, a square. Let's go to libraries and shapes. Click this square. You can adjust it by dragging the corner. Okay, now I wanna crop the image into this square frame. And now I'm going to press shift and also click on the image. So both the image and the square is highlighted. And now I right click and select mask with shape. And there we have it. So this is what we can export with a new cropped image. And I'll show you real quick. Click this button here that says advanced export. Click selection, make sure it's on PNG. And background, let's choose transparent. And export, give it a name and save. Let's go take a look at it. It's right here. So this is our new image that's cropped as a square. Let's go back to the canvas and I will do um, control Z for undo. That's what you can do with any of these images. You can make it a circle, triangle, a heart, star. And also you can crop with these shapes where you draw your own shape, such as a rectangle ellipse, polygon, triangle, and a star. Now let's do an ellipse. If you hold down shift, the ellipse will be a perfect circle, okay? If you let go of the shift, it'll allow you to shape that ellipse the way you want. Make this our ellipse. And again, select both the image and the shape, right click and mask, and we have our ellipse. Okay, now let's put together two shapes into one. Okay, now we're going to combine two shapes into one. Okay, let's first draw a circle. And then let's choose a different shape. Let's draw a rectangle. Okay, now we wanna combine these two shapes together. Let's drag the rectangle to overlap the circle. Let's say that's the shape we want, the combination of these two shapes. And what we'll need to do is highlight both shapes Click one, hold down shift, click the other. Both are now highlighted in this one box. And right click, this time select create compound. So now these two are in sync. It's sort of like a grouping, they move together now. But they're not a combined shape yet. So what we have to do is right click again and convert path. Now the two shapes has been molded into one new shape, one irregular shape, one custom shape. And now we can use this to mask and get our cropping into this irregular shape. And let's select the image while holding down shift again, right click and mask. And now we have this combined shape that's made out of a circle and a rectangle. Undo. So now you know how to crop images into regular shapes and also a combination of shapes. Before continuing the lesson, let's take a quick break. Tonight's program is brought to you by Spaceballs, the most extravagant, futuristic movie ever made. Coming to a theater near you. Now we're going to use the path tool to create a custom shape, which you can draw in any way you want and in any detail. So it depends on how many points you want. So let's select the path tool. Let's start from here. Here, 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 here. I'll just give it some jagged edges over here. 
And let's close this shape by clicking on the first dot. Okay, so this is the path I drew. I could have shaped it any way I wanted to. And if we did the masking again, it will look like this. So that's the custom way of creating your own shape, any irregular shape you want. Another thing I want to show you is how you can use this subselect option here to reshape some of your objects. So first let's select a square. And if you select subselect or press D, you'll see these red dots show up. And now you can drag those and around the corners of your square. Okay, so that's how the square works. Let's use a triangle. And let's select the subselect or press D. And now these points turn white and you can drag these over and it will change the shape of your triangle. Because if you weren't in the subselect, if you were just in the pointer, you can't change the uh, angles. You can just resize the same triangle or rotate it. And finally, let me show you how you can round your edges when using the path tool. So let's select the path tool, click here, let's click here. If you hold down the button while clicking and move around, you can sort of bend these lines and click another spot here, bend it again, click another spot here, you can bend it and thereby you have a more rounded shape like that. It's kind of like a irregular blob rounded shape and to mask that it'll look like this and you can export that and turn it into a sticker or what have you. And there you go that's how you use gravit and crop in different shapes whether it's regular shapes or irregular customized shapes. Thanks! Thank you.